Here we've got one or two items. Oh, we're supposed to be mainly, mainly used by vets. You might have seen this one before. <laughs> if you guessed it was a sort of gun, you'd be correct. It was a sort of gun called a balling gun. And the object of this one was to shoot a pill down a horse's throat. Some horses had big heads. And from where the point where they bite to the point where they swallow can be quite a distance. So this was used, the, they always called it balling because they were physic balls, although they, were, they weren't round. The bo physic ball went in there and then you could uh, shoot it down at its throat. You would have had a, a gag to open a horse's mouth uh, to make this operation easier. Uh, and there's somebody, my dad for example, he thought he could do it without and he would grab the horse's tongue, pull it between his teeth and then he could get it back. But more often than not, when they turn their back, <laughs> the old horse who got that out, <laughs> dropped that out in the straw, yes. That was a balling gun. Also for giving medicine to a animal, cow, something like that. I think this is a lovely bit of kit, an animal's horn. It's a perfect shape. You just head up to just a slight turn and it's, it just automatically empties down his throat. What I, what I find interesting is that this was when they started manufacturing means of putting medicine down the horse's throat. But the instruction here, a very elaborate label, when horning the animal, you make sure that his head is horizontal. But the interesting, when it's horning it, it's a bit like hoovering, isn't it? I mean, uh, you hoover with all sorts of sweepers, but they were, they were still horning the animal with that. That well, was Day, Son and Hewitt before, no, it was Day and Son before they joined up with Hewitt. Very famous firm for horses, medicines, and animal stock. This one, a cannula and trocar. It looks like a dagger. It is sort of a dagger. If cows, well, and sheep, if they have too much young, luscious grass, they keep on feeding on it. And they have so much, it, they get bloated and it ferments in their stomach, and they just blow up. And they just flop on their side, they can't move, they're just like a bag of wind. And uh, if something isn't done fairly quickly, that's it, they die. Now this gadget, a cannula and trocar, is a blade, fits in a sheath. The two were inserted together and then the blade was withdrawn, which left that as a little funnel to allow the gases to escape. And then stood out of the way and uh, probably put your cigarette out because uh, these gases could then get out. This I thought we'd look at because I think it's such a well-made item. Just a ring, I suppose it's been stuffed with horsehair, but it's so tight. But for someone to be able to make that, with all of this stitching, two straps on it, and it's, it's a lovely thing. That is, uh, I'll tell you what, it's for, it's referring to capped elbow. This very unsightly injury may be caused by the heel of the shoe when lying down. Horses which have a habit of scraping away the bedding may also bring about this disfigurement by pressure at the elbow on the hard floor. The swelling at first is composed entirely of fluid and the Elemans will greatly excite its absorption. This was Mr. Elemans from his catalogue. 
So they could put that round when he was uh, in the stable at night uh, to stop him doing that. And they had uh, all sorts of sizes. We've got a big one for a big horse. Equally firm. I don't know. How they got that so tight, I don't know. And a small one for a smaller horse. 